Welcome to MicroStrategy. My name is Michael Hoffmann and I'm working as a senior sales engineer for MicroStrategy Germany. With the following video, I want to show you live the new geo mapping capabilities of MicroStrategy 10 in Visual Insight dashboards. In MicroStrategy 10, geo analysis based on ESRI maps comes for free with the platform and offers a lot of great capabilities. This map is based on geo points with latitude and longitude values. The background of the map can be changed with different styles and the geo online search for points of interest is included as well. The map can work as a selector for other grids and graphs. You can select individual geo points or you can use other selection tools of the map as an alternative. If you don't have latitude and longitude values, the engine is able to geocode the name of cities, states and countries automatically as well. This works even for German cities. MicroStrategy 10 enhanced the full text search capabilities in VI. In combination with the map, a great selection tool. Later in this video, you will see that with MicroStrategy 10, you are able to define geographic regions on the fly that work as traditional attributes, so you can reuse them for later analysis. The map has an option for auto zoom. This is very convenient if you work with dynamic selectors against the map. The map can do more than showing markers and bubbles. Density maps and area maps are possible as well. If you draw a region for a selection on the density map, this region is highlighted. At the top of the map, you can switch between different map styles. And now it's time for area maps. This is a very powerful feature in MicroStrategy 10. The product is able to read geocoded Google KML files that can be used as an overlay for the map. Every polygon in the geo file is related to an attribute value so that the areas can work as selectors for other grids and graphs. The polygons can change their colors based on metric thresholds on the fly. The user is able to define these thresholds individually. If you need specific geo shape files for different countries, you can download these files from public geo databases and convert them into the KML file format with a free geo tool called QGIS. In this example, I'm selecting specific areas one by one. The graphs on the right use new features as well. Automatic trend lines and reference lines like the line that shows the maximum value in a graph. This feature shows the new geolocation search as part of the map. This selector type is new as well. The drop-down checkboxes have an option for an exclusive single selection. And now it's time for a really cool feature. In this map you see regions that don't exist for real. I defined them on the fly in Google Earth as polygons and exported them in a geocoded KML file. It took me just 10 minutes to make the new overlay work within MicroStrategy 10. This means that you're able to define your own maps with your own regions just as you like. And you can use them with the full interactivity in Visual Insight. In addition to this, I want to mention that MicroStrategy 10 has a completely redesigned in-memory engine that allows to import and join data from any data source on the fly. This is very helpful if you want to build the data for your geoanalysis scenario.
Sometimes you're in trouble with too many data points on a map, but MicroStrategy 10 has a solution that is part of the product now. You're able to turn on dynamic clustering. This offers a lot of transparency. If you zoom the map, the cluster change in order to offer the best view for your analysis. A cluster tooltip shows the geo points with the data. At the end of this presentation I want to show you a really cool use case with maps. I want to define my own and reusable dynamic geogroups based on a geographic selection done manually. For this use case we create a copy of our array map first. Then we define a grid with German districts. This grid will be filtered by the map later. And now we define our new geographic region that we want to reuse later. We use the Lasso Selection tool for this process. In the next step we define a dynamic group for these items and give them a name. After this definition MicroStrategy 10 offers a new attribute for this dynamic group and the items that are not part of this group. We can define more groups if we like and we can use this dynamic group just like any other attribute. For this reason we can reuse this attribute for example as a selector to filter the whole dashboard sheet. Now I added the new attribute for the dynamic group to the filter panel in order to filter the whole sheet based on the previous defined group. This offers really a great flexibility if you need to work in a very agile way. I hope you enjoyed this short presentation. Please keep in mind that these examples show only a very small part of the overall enhancements of MicroStrategy 10. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I wish you all the best. Bye!